twilight hours have faded. Most of the employees have gone home for the day. All is quiet at plant number six, except for Joe. And even Joe doesn't intrude much upon the silence of the night, although he does accomplish a fantastic amount of work during his eight-hour shift. Joe's a maintenance man who has the job of cleaning almost four acres of flooring five nights a week. It would take 65 men with buckets and mops to do the same job in the same time span. Sounds impossible, doesn't it? Well, it would be, except for two things. Joe's meticulous care with his floor maintenance equipment and the Clark Company, makers of his clark matic model TB24. Joe's as proud of his TB24 scrubber vac as he is of his T-Bird automobile. Clark makes a variety of scrubber back machines, each model with uniqueness engineered right in, the differences dictated by the work to be accomplished by each. Each has a unique brush drive assembly and attachment mechanism. Each utilizes a unique type of traverse drive. Brush size, speed, and pressure vary with each. Tank size. Squeegee configuration. Battery output. Scrub swap. All different, and yet there are numerous similarities. All Clarkomatic models, quality built for durability, feature ultra simple controls for operator convenience. All meter solution, scrub, pick up wet soilage and squeegee dry, leaving the floor sparkling clean and safe for immediate use. All are battery operated and self-propelled at variable speeds, forward and reverse, with brushes mounted on gimbals for complete scrubbing action on uneven floors. All are quick, automatic, thorough, economical. There is one for every floor and every budget. All can be customized to handle particular floor care problems. The TB24 just happens to be the one best suited for Joe's areas and type of work. An exclusive, slow speed, permanent magnet DC motor connects directly to an automotive type differential by a husky roller chain for smooth, powerful traction. Two similar motors mounted directly on the brush heads control the gimbal-mounted contra-rotating brushes. This unique design principle eliminates the need for clutches, belts, and gearboxes. Let's hear what Joe has to say about his TB24. My TB24 is a dream. From the time I fill it up until I flush it out, it does everything I want it to do. I always start out with a fresh, full tank, just as I do in my T-Bird when I'm starting out on a trip. This solution tank holds 15 gallons. Since there's a foam head to contend with from the scrubbing action, the pickup tank is five gallons larger. That prevents flooding the vacuum motor. The tanks are made of 14 gauge, triple coated with vitreous enamel for long life. They're made just like a bathtub and should last just as long. Because the battery-powered clark matic has to operate day after day and year after year in a wet and corrosive environment, every metal part is treated for rust and corrosion. Every metal part, chassis, clamps, nuts and bolts, chain, flanges, all hardware, even the screws that are hidden from view.
doesn't matter if I'm moving from one place to another, brushes up, or cleaning the floor with the brushes down. My trusty clark o -Matic propels itself at an easy walking speed. All I do is steer it. It just purrs along doing an A1 job. Reminds me of my T-Bird moving along down the highway. I maintain absolute control over the flow of the solution. Without control, the gravity feed would be a lot faster with the tank full than it would with it almost empty. There are two 13-inch brushes with an inch and a half overlap, turning at 320 RPM. That scrubs a path two feet wide. Brush force can be varied from 60 to 100 pounds. I can operate my TB24 from zero to 185 feet a minute in a forward direction and up to 150 feet a minute in reverse. This clark o -Matic may be operated with or without the squeegee in contact with the floor. 99% of my cleaning requires only one pass, squeegee down in the completely automatic operation. Occasionally, I have a dirtier area requiring a double scrubbing procedure. Usually, this is an area not previously cleaned by my TB24. The first time through, I leave the squeegee up and with brushes down, I scrub the cleaning solution onto the floor and leave it to loosen the caked on grime. I use enough solution so that the floor stays wet until I'm ready to make a second pass over that area. For the second scrubbing, I leave the brushes down, lower the squeegee, and turn on the high power vacuum. The TB24 does the rest, completely removing all that dirty solution. Next time, a single scrubbing will do the job. Squeegee pressure is preset at the factory, but it can be adjusted to apply more pressure for uneven floors. Too much pressure on a smooth floor will show streaks after it dries. The blade rubs on the floor rather than wiping it. Small objects caught beneath the squeegee rubber will also cause streaks, much like a wiper blade streaks a windshield. I easily and quickly emptied the vacuum pickup tank on my clark o -Matic through this dump valve. When the solution gets down to the level of the valve, I open the clean-out door to allow the sludge to drain out. After the sludge is drained, I rinse the tank so that it will be clean for the next scrubbing. After each shift, I clean and flush both the solution tank and the vacuum tank with clean water. At the end of each shift, I also check the vacuum motor and the automatic float shutoff mechanism. This pad is an air filter that prevents buildup of moisture and dirt on the vacuum motor impellers. Dirt can throw the vacuum motor out of balance, and that can cause bearing failure or even costly motor replacement. Dirt collected on the pad cuts down on the vacuum, so I check it and clean it daily, and if necessary, wash it in fresh water. Which brings up the subject of maintenance. Now I'm a maintenance man. I feel that one of my most important jobs is to keep the TB24 in tip-top shape. The Clark Company has put out a really great scrubber vac, built to last many years. It does all my heavy work for me, so I owe it to myself to give it the same type of care that I give my T-Bird. To help myself, I've made a TB24 maintenance calendar, and I look at it. At the beginning, and the end of each shift. For long life, battery water level must be checked daily, and the batteries must be charged. After eight hours of operation, the machine starts slowing down. Operating longer than this can cause battery damage, but more important, it could leave me pushing a mop. Clark battery charger, which is equipped with a 16-hour timer, automatically adjusts itself to the battery's needs. It also compensates for changes in line voltage. It brings the batteries up to a full charge safely, and it shuts itself off automatically. I don't have to set dials, charge rate, or anything else. It's all automatic. To me, Friday seems like a good day 
for the weekly battery test. Then, if a problem does exist, I've got all weekend to do something about it. You know, a car battery is only used to start the engine, but the TB24 batteries provide the only source of energy. They are constantly in use during the operation. This deep cycling requires that I check each cell's condition. I must make sure that each cell has the correct amount of water and that its hydrometer reading is within tolerance. Each brush comes in four pieces. There are different types of low-cost brushes which allow me to tailor the machine to my scrubbing needs. And when the bristles finally do wear out, I can easily change the segments without replacing the entire assembly. If a squeegee gets damaged during a shift, it's possible to flip it over in a few minutes and continue scrubbing. All four edges of a Clark squeegee can be used before replacement of the elements. Tire pressure is just as important here as it is on an automobile. Tires should be checked every other week. Pressure needs to be kept at 30, 32 pounds, equal for both tires. Otherwise, the machine can't scrub evenly. Electric motor brushes get less than a half an inch long. They have to be replaced. If the vacuum motor brushes get too short, they could cause arcing or maybe armature burnout. Well, that's about all there is to it. Maintenance on my TV24 averages about an hour and a half a week. Most of it I can do while I'm filling or draining the tank. Now that's not much time to keep a scrubber vac like this operating, is it? No, Joe, it isn't. You see, Joe takes care of his Clarkomatic, and it takes care of him.